Well, we score in here today because you're also passionate about the environment. It's not just compassion for people, it's compassion for the environment. And you brought some things here today that you kind of do. In a, you a bowl of beets. She brought me some beets. <laughs> she, I see cherries, pomegranates. Some cherries. Uh, so what's, what's up with the beets? Okay, I love so beets, by the way. They're, aren't they insane? They're yes. so good. Uh. So what, what, what are these beets So do? we always have to, you know, we got to put makeup on every mm -hmm. now and then to do this thing called the red carpet. And, um, <laughs> and so I, at one point I was like, I don't really, I'm not into the, the lipstick options that were available uh, a few years ago. So we, I was roasting beets one day and rubbed them on my lips and I was like, oh, hey, that color's kind of nice. So, uh, so now we use roasted beets for lip stains. Are you serious? Yeah, for like big award shows when, when we get to get ready and have plenty of time for to get big, ready. I love it. When you yeah. have, look, when you have plenty of time to get ready. You just, so that's already on there. Look. There's a little roasted beet action. Yeah, it's hard when I'm roasting beets at home. I'm trying to keep it off of my countertops. Off they the... get everywhere, right? I should have known. Just put it on my lips. It's just <laughs> fine. Okay, what else do you have for us here? You can, oh, you can use cherries and pomegranates for the same pomegranates, thing. Pomegranates, I didn't know you could do that for. Yeah, it's kind of more of like a, oh, I want like a little sun-kissed, light mm -hmm. pink action, you know? But the beets are when you want to go bold. But beets are like and... when you want bold, yeah. I like but it. But don't put chapstick on first or it'll just come off. You Let got that? soak in there. Beets first, <laughs> then, okay? Then chapstick. Um, it's really hard to really focus with uh, eating, so. Yeah. Okay, so then the other is now having short hair. I wake up in the morning, I look like Johnny Bravo, like my hair is sticking straight up. <laughs> Good job. Um, so I use sea salt, or if, I, if I'm not, I live near the ocean, so I'll just jump in the ocean, but uh, I worked in Chicago last year and there was no ocean. So I mix sea salt with water and you bam. You saying you didn't jump in the lake? I almost jumped in the lake, but then I realized that if I had done that, I might not come back up. <laughs> <laughs> and we can't have that. Yeah. <laughs> it gets a little cold, that lake. So cold. you just mix just some water sea salt, with some sea water. salt? I'll put some like lavender essential oils in there, you know, just to spice it up. And it works? Like, totally, yeah. You got that? Yeah, a little sea salt action. Nice and easy. Easy. Nice and easy. So, um, so far, this is nothing really complicated, and I see some mason jars here. What do you do with these? Mason jars are the best kept secret. You can get a pack of 12 for $13.99. It's Barely true. a dollar jar. And they're dishwasher safe, they are freezer safe. Every now and then they break when you pour boiling water in them, but in like five years of using them, I've only had one break, so. Only one break it's in five good. years, so you just kind of put everything in here instead of using plastic. Everything, and it's with... a quart, so you know, it's plenty. You know, sometimes water bottles you fill and they're just, you drink it and then you're like, okay, now I'm thirsty again. Some of y'all, you can, you know, it's a quart. <laughs> it's a quart. So, <laughs> some of y'all already had a quart today. <laughs> Especially in that section over there. You better I'm gonna check y'all for mason jars when you come in here next time. <laughs> I love mason jars. It just yeah. looking at them makes me want, to, want an iced tea. That's the first thing I right? said when I came over. It just, They're like nostalgic in that yeah, way. Yeah, they are. Yeah, I and love them. And there's my jam right there. Boom. There's your little jam guy. So I love it. Okay, now this was interesting. Now this is a situation. So I, okay, clay. I've never actually used this one. Um, but I get my clay from this website called Mountain Rose Herbs. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, it's super good for you, whatever. But I started mixing it. A friend taught me this recipe where you can make a toothpaste out of it, and instead of spitting out your toothpaste, you swallow it. What do you mix, the clay with? I use mix clay with some baking soda, which is good for whitening your teeth. Oh yeah. Naturally. Uh, and coconut oil, um, which I don't know if anyone's ever heard of oil pulling, but oil pulling is really good for you too. Which is? Uh, you take oil, I usually use sesame oil, but you can use coconut oil, swish it around in your teeth. It helps remove stains and uh, does a lot of other really fancy great things for you. And it's good for your hair. And it's great for your hair. I and use your it in skin. my hair and my skin. And then you smell like an island. I know. And you're just like, oh, yeah. Just a little touch of Tahiti. Just a little touch of Tahiti. A little touch of Thailand. And this is what it comes out like. This is well. This, if you were to I mix that, if we were to mix it, mine generally is a little bit creamier, so I can't guarantee what that's going to be like. But that so is. So what a, makes what would make it more creamy? A little, just a little, little more water or something? A little more water, a little more coconut oil. Yeah, and you can just mix it up and and do whatever you want. This oh, kind of like Oh, it is kind of creamy. Once we you get make, in there, it's kind of just sat there for a while. So I think it's it's a little softer once you get on the inside. You can make a sculpture out of it. That's what I was thinking. We yeah. should just kind of. Just do the ghost thing real quick. Well, <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you thank so you. much. I'm telling you.
My producer, Craig, his daughters cannot wait for this movie. He's like, they're bugging him, bugging him, bugging him. They cannot wait till this movie comes out. So I'm so happy for you. You're such a sweet spirit, and I can't wait for you to blow up again in The Fault in Our Stars. It's in theaters this Friday. Go to my website for these recipes. I'm going to try this later, so don't be, don't be afraid. Let's try this. Thank you so much, Shaylee.